Welcome back. Now what we need to do is that we need to create our project tables. And in order to create our project tables, we need to uh, use what's called migration. Migration or migrations are commands that can be used to create uh, tables quickly. So I'm going to be using the migrations that are given by Laravel, the migrations command or commands that are given by Laravel to create the tables. So first, the first step is that you need to open up a terminal. You can open up a terminal if you are using a IDE, if you are using a text editor that has a built-in uh, terminal, you can use it, or you can use the operating system terminal. If you are using Windows, you can open the CMD, and then you can follow along. The command in, in, uh, in Windows, it's called the command prompt. Just open the command prompt and then you can follow along. So the first step is that we need to change directory to our project. So my project is on my desktop. So I'm going to say cd and then and then desktop, desktop, and then I'm going to go to my project. So I'm going to say cd and then the name of my, the name of my project. My project name is Laravel underscore project. And then hit enter and now my terminal is pointing to my project make sure that you the terminal is or the CMD is pointing to your project otherwise these commands will not work so after that now we need to create the first table so I'm gonna create the first command the first command to create a table is called PHP artisan and then make colon migration and then create underscore and then the name of the table the first table is going to be named uh, products i'm going to say create products underscore table so again this command is php artisan make migration make migration and then create underscore products underscore table and then hit enter and this is going to say here created migration. So this command is going to create a, a file called create products table. So where has this file been created? This file has been created in the database migrations. Here you will find so many files. Don't worry about the, these files. Uh, a lot of these files are created by default by La Laravel. Don't worry about them. The new, the new file will usually, usually be created at the end. So at the end here, you'll find that there is a new file here with a date and then create products table. You need to open it. And now with this file, what we need to do is that we need to specify our, uh, our table columns. So as you can see, this file is a class called create products table. And it, it extends the migration uh, class that is given by Laravel. And here we have up and down function. The function that we know, we, what we, uh, the function that we need to use is the up function. Inside that up function, we have here schema create, and then the name of the table, which is products. And then inside the this callback function, we need to specify the columns. So the first column is the ID. Obviously, we need an ID, and then we need to create another uh, or other columns. So, so the second column is going to be table, and then. And then it's going to be a string. I'm going to say string. And it is going to be the name of the product. So I'm going to say name. And then semicolon. And then we need another column. The third column is going to be for the description. So I'm going to say string. And then description. And I'm going to say here nullable because the description can be nullable because sometimes you might you might not have a description for a specific product and then we need also to create another uh, column I'm gonna say table and then we need the price so that price is gonna be decimal decimal and then price and then the number of digits we need eight digits and we need two we need two um, uh, two um, digits after the point so the total number of digits is going to be eight 
and two of them will be after the point. So the maximum price is gonna be is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two of these will be after the point. So the the maximum price is gonna be this number is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the total. This is the maximum cost of a product. Of course, you can control this. You can decrease or increase this. But I recommend using eight because you wouldn't want to use a small number. Maybe you have a maybe you have a product that is very expensive and you want to sell it. Therefore, it's important to use eight. Then we need to say table, and then we need to create another column called uh, sale price, and it's going to be also decimal, decimal, and then sale underscore price. The sale price also is going to be eight and two, eight digits and two digits digits after the point. We also need the quantity. How many products you, do you have right now? It's going to be integer. I'm going to say integer, and it's going to be the quantity. By the by, by the way, the sale price is going to be nullable because sometimes you might not have a, uh, a sale price. Maybe you are, maybe it's not a uh, sales uh, season. Uh, we also need table and then category, which is going to be a string category. And we also need the type, which is going to also be a string type. And we need the image. We need table, table, and then we need a string, which is going to be image. The first image is going to be image. And then we need also a couple of other images because we might have uh, a few other images for the same product. So I'm going to say string and then image one and then table and then string and then image two and the two images the the these additional images will be nullable because sometimes you might only have one image so now let me make sure that we have one two three 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we have the name, the description, the price, the sales price, the quantity, the category, the type, uh, the image, the, uh, the other two images. And that's it. These are the columns that we want for the table.